Today, we make a bouncing YouTube subscriber graphic. Kind of like that. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. So like you saw in the intro today, we're gonna be creating a YouTube subscriber graphic, one that pops up at the bottom of your screen for your YouTube videos, and it kind of bounces in and then bounces when it's clicked. You'll see a little bit of an elasticity almost when it's clicked. And I'm gonna be showing you guys not only how to get this graphic and how you can get the graphic from this video right now without doing anything, but also how to add that kind of bounce animation to your animations inside of after effects if you'd like to it is super easy you can do it in just seconds using expressions if you don't know how to use expressions i'm going to show you in this video really quickly and cover how to add the bounce but without further ado let's get into this graphic but before we get into it i just wanted to remind you that i do try to stream every tuesday and sunday over at twitch.tv forward slash gravity m so make sure you're hopping over there dropping a follow and maybe catching a live stream if you would like to but now into the video. All right, so I know I mentioned that we are gonna be going into After Effects, but before we do that, I just wanted to take a quick stop in Photoshop because I kinda wanna show you guys the process of when I'm creating a graphic like this. So if I'm gonna create something like a subscribe button or follow button or something like that, it always starts inside of Photoshop because it's really easy to quickly design the button style. So inside of Photoshop, I've created this button. It is super simple, just a rounded rectangle and then just the word subscribe inside of the rounded rectangle. And then I duplicated the rounded rectangle and made a gray version for After it has been clicked and then I took the uh, subscribe text and I duplicated it and just added a D to the end so you've got subscribe so you've got pre-clicked right here and then you've got post clicked right there you can do it all inside of one Photoshop file and then we we'll bring that into After Effects so then once you're inside of After Effects you can just import the YouTube subscriber button that you just created you see we've got all the same layers the rounded rectangles the subscribe and the subscribed and you can put a basic animation on it it's super simple to create graphics like this but you don't even need to know how to do it because I'm gonna provide this exact After Effects project if you want to look at it tweak it change it however you want down in the description you can download it right now and even if you don't don't have After Effects, I'm providing the subscribe graphic already exported out of After Effects. So if you don't own it, you can still download it down in the description and throw this into your videos right away. It's going to have an alpha channel on the background, so it's transparent. You don't need to green screen. You don't need anything. You just throw it over your footage and it works. But if you do want to learn a little bit more how to create the bounce graphic, I'm going to cover that right now. So you'll see when it jumps in, it bounces like that. And then when it clicks, it's bouncing as well. This is called inertial bounce and it is super easy to do so when you're keyframing in your scale like this it is a normal keyframe as you can see we start at zero and then it goes up to 100 from zero to 100 but once you have done that it is time to add expressions so the way you add expressions is over on the stopwatch here you just want to hold down alt on your keyboard and then click so if you see if I add some keyframes to position here just like this so we've added a couple keyframes if I hold down alt and click on the stopwatch you'll see everything turns red and then we've got a uh, little coding box that we can type things into you don't need to know any coding I'm gonna give you the expression and I'm gonna show you exactly where to find it so all I did was alt click on the scale I'm gonna go ahead and alt click on position again and then uh, yeah just deleted all the keyframes because we don't need position keyframes but I just alt clicked on the scale and it brought up this uh, this code box right here and I went to a website called gray machine gray machine is an awesome website where they have the inertial bounce code already written for you if you just type in inertial bounce into Google you're gonna see a, uh, a link from gray machine where you can come down here and just copy this code right here it starts with amplitude and then ends at value down here you just copy that code cancel out a gray machine you drop down in here and in after effects in this code box you just place that entire you paste it right in there and then it is time to add some tweaks to it so you'll see you got amplitude you got frequency and you got decay you can mess with these numbers and you'll see what they all do amplitude is obviously just how hard it bounces the frequency is how quickly it bounces and then the decay is how long it bounces before it kind of finally stabilizes out so you can mess with these numbers as much as you want but once you add this code in here you're done that is it so I keyframed it from 0 to 100 and then over here I keyframed the little bounce when you click on it and once I pasted this code in here that bouncing 
was done just like that and then uh, you can export it out here on the final render just like that it is that simple to create a bouncing graphic all right guys and that is pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed the graphic and i hope you jump down and download either the after effects project or the already exported graphic and throw it into your videos or i would love to see you guys taking this technique taking the inertial bounce and adding it to your own graphics make sure you tweet it to me at bravidium i'd love to see all the work that you guys do if you decide to try out inertial bounce but once again i do try to stream every tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity so make sure you're dropping a follow over there and uh, maybe catching a live stream if you want to but I'll see you guys in the next video